Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome back to my studio. In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for making a brand new project. This is video part three for the Brooklyn shawl. In video part one, I showed you how to make the first motif. Then in video part two, I showed you how to work the rows of the first triangular band right onto the edge of the first motif. And now in video part three, I'm going to show you how we go from bands of rows of stitches to adding motifs back to this section as well. So all of these motifs will be worked exactly the same way as the original motif through round three, and it's on the final round four that we'll be modifying slightly so that we can join it to along this edge. So where we, and if you need a reminder on these motifs, you'll just need to go back and watch video part one. In these seven double crochet sections, it will be that fourth center double crochet that we will be joining after that stitch with a slip stitch inside V stitches along this edge. So just for spacing wise, we're going to be joining this motif in the next two shells, the center double crochet in each cell. We're gonna be joining one in the first V stitch, skipping the next V stitch, and joining in the next V stitch. So let me show you how we do that. We're going to work four double crochets in the next chain two space in our established pattern on round four of the motifs. So there's our fourth double crochet now. So after the fourth double crochet, we'll slip stitch into the first V stitch. And then come back to our working motif and finish up that shell with three more double crochets in that same chain two space. Then single crochet in the next chain one space. And I'm gonna set my work down so you can see what this looks like now. So we've got our shell completed here and it's also joined to the first V stitch on the shell. So we're going on the shawl. So we're going to skip the next chain two space, skip the next V stitch and skip the next chain two space. And it will be in this V stitch here that we're gonna join in the middle of our next shell. So our shell, going back to our established pattern on the motif is four double crochets in the next chain two space. Then slip stitch into that specified V stitch that we just recognized. And then working back on our working motif, work three more double crochets in the same two chain two space after working that slip stitch in the adjacent triangular band. So now we'll come back to uh, working in our established pattern at single crochet in the next chain two, chain one space, and then slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And now our first motif is attached along the edge of the triangular bands of the Brooklyn shawl. When you're ready to work the next motif, you'll be working in that same established pattern along here, but instead of just joining to the shawl, we'll also be joining to the previous motif. So we're going to be joining in these two shells here in working that slip stitch in the center fourth double crochet of these four, seven double crochet sections, then skipping the next chain two V stitch chain two and working the slip stitch in the center of the next shell in this V stitch, then working along and in the next shell, skipping the next chain two V stitch chain two and working the next shell join in this V stitch here. So now let's do that with our yarn. Okay, so now this motif has four shells left to make and that's how many we need to join in two shells on this motif and join in two shells along this side. So I've got my three double crochets completed already. After the fourth center double crochet is when we will slip stitch to join in the center double crochet on the adjacent motif. Three more double crochets in that same chain two space.
single crochet in the next chain one space, four double crochets in the next chain, chain two space, then slip stitch to join in the center double crochet of the next shell on that same adjacent motif, then coming back to our working motif, three more double crochets in that same chain two space, single crochet in the next chain one space. And I'm going to set my work down at this point so you can see what we've done so far. We've joined in two side-by-side -side shells in the adjacent motif, so now we need to join the next two shells the same way we did these two shells up here. So we'll work the next join here, and then we'll work the next shell join here. Okay, then at the end of the round, we fasten off, and I'll set this back down again so you can see what we did. Okay, so we joined on two sides of the adjacent motif and two sides of the motif to the triangular band on the shawl. For the third motif, you're going to join in the same exact way, and then after that, I'll show you how we do an increase join and turning the corner join for the center uh, corner of the shawl. Okay, so to create the shaping that we need for the center V of the shawl, we need to join this motif a little bit differently than the rest of them. The rest of them are pacing along and skipping Vs and all that stuff. So on this one, we're going to join same as the other ones. We're going to join with two sides on the adjacent motif, but then we're only going to join one time to the shawl and the very next V-stitch after the last V-stitch that we just joined to. So let me show you how to do that. So we're ready to do our join. We've done four double crochets of the seven in the next shell. So we'll slip stitch to join in the adjacent motifs for fourth double crochet in its shell and work our remaining three double crochets in our working chain two space. single crochet in the next chain one space, four double crochets in the next chain two space, slip stitch to the fourth double crochet in the next seven double crochet shell on the same motif, three more double crochets in the same chain two space, and single crochet in the next chain one space. So that part we've done exactly the same as the rest of the motifs along the side of the shawl. But what I'm saying now is that to create our corner, we're going to work four double crochets in the next chain two space, which is still normal, but it's where we join this shell that's going to be different. We're not going to skip any more uh, V stitches. We're going to slip stitch into the very next V stitch and then come back to our chain two space and work our final three double crochets for that same shell, single crochet in the next chain one space, and then finish round four the same we did all the other motifs with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join and fasten off.
Okay, so when we join the very next motif now, it will be joined here, here, the very next V-stitch, skip the next V-stitch, and here. So what we're going to be doing is mirroring everything we did on this side. We will now mirror what we do on this side. And everything that you need to make this shawl, you've actually learned now. So all the fundamentals that we learned for joining along the edge of a motif, we will now do that as we join our second triangular band along the outer edge of these motifs. And then when we join our next band of motifs to that band, it will be done in the same fundamentals as we did for joining these motifs to this band here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. And if you check out the video description, I've provided links for everything we talked about in this video. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.